away from Louisiana, an exact replica of the Pathfinder, the huge core stage of the Space Launch System, or SLS, arrives at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida for practice and training inside Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building. This is in preparation for the first lunar mission of SLS and NASA's Orion spacecraft, Artemis 1. This is part of the process that will culminate in mankind's next big leap into space, putting humans on the moon again for the first time since 1972, and looking beyond the moon to putting people on the surface of Mars. One of some of the big testing left, we have one more major water flow, and we have uh, the cryogenics, which will be a, a major flow of, uh, again, the commodities, LO2, liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. So we're uh, looking to launch the first Artemis 1 mission in late 2020. Um, the, really, the main goal is to get uh, boots back on the moon by 2024, the first woman, the first man going to the moon in 2024. So the first one will not have people on board, and our first one with people, which will be kind of the practice before we go to the moon, would be in about the 2022 time frame. The daily news cycle in America is increasingly consumed by the campaign for the November 2020 presidential election. Relatively unnoticed is the energy in the space program. Tens of thousands across more than a dozen countries are working on some aspect of this next great leap into space. Here at Kennedy, one of them is Matt Romaine in what they call the Veggie Lab. This team is working on growing vegetables like carrots, chilies and bok choy in space for food and also for morale. You know, right now an ISS the crew is very busy, There's lots of experiments, lots of things to fix, it's a huge vehicle. But on a transit mission to Mars, things might get a little slower, they might need something to do that's meaningful. Mark Wieser is working on a deep space supply chain. We're ready for that next step, we're ready to move forward. Gateway will orbit the moon like a mothership, with payloads and astronauts going back and forth between Gateway and the surface of the moon. Right now we have firm agreements with the Canadians. We, JAXA just signed on. We are working with all the European, you know, with ESA to tie in the European countries. Russia is working with us. We don't have a formal agreement yet. So, so the intent is to, to be just as broad as we are at the International Space Station and bring them all together as we push forward to the moment. Nirmal Ghosh, The Straits Times at the Kennedy Space Center.